lot of parents. Some even say that warning labels should be put on record covers when lyrics have strong sexual themes. We got the opinions of top radio personality Jay Thomas, but first, some opinions from people like yourselves. I mean, I swing to it, too, a little bit. My shoulders move and my feet go tapping, but... Uh, of course, it's not the music that we danced to when I was their age. My oldest is 11 years old, and she's starting to like the very modern and uh, uh, the Madonna type. Once in a while, something, something nice comes out of it. I like the rhythm, but I don't like the words. I mean, they're a little too vulgar for me. I know they're supposed to be vulgar and dirty, but I, you, I, as far as I'm concerned, I can't tell you don't even hear them because you're hearing the rhythm of the music rather than the words of the music. So I don't know what all the fuss is about. Sugar Walls by Sheena Easton, some stations pulled it. We didn't get any negative response on it, but if we had, we'd have pulled it. It remained a big hit here, and I guess most of the kids called it. I think they think it's cute or silly, they think it's naughty, um, uh, but uh, we haven't pulled a record off the air here in a long, long time. Do recording artists have a responsibility to their listeners when it comes to sexually explicit or violent uh, words, especially when it comes to teenagers? Well, let's take, um, let me take Prince for an example because he's so big. Um, I think I'm a little naive about this, but I do not think that lyrics and records make people want to rape and kill and burn their homes down. I don't believe that. Never have I believed that. I think Prince is making some personal statement about his psychological or sexual or spiritual problems. I think people are more interested in his beat in, in that in that instance i think prince is a nut you know i think he's got you know immense problems and he and he's made millions of dollars playing those records on the radio people buy them they are attracted to them it's amazing if something is really offensive it will not be bought i think if he got enough negative response he would start singing country records to make a living that's how I look at it. I think most people are motivated by how much money they can make on their music. Plus, he likes what he says, but I think he really goes overboard. When they talk about music and sexually explicit stuff, have you ever been to Chippendales? Okay. Those women go berserk, and those guys take their clothes off and go, wow, these are like, you know, women with kids and older women, too. I never see those women leave that club and go into the street and begin attacking men. I never see that. But these sometimes are the generation or the same people that say that sexually explicit records or violent records may affect their kids in, a, in an adverse way. I think most people are affected by whatever they're listening to or watching for that moment in time. And it's sort of, um, they sort of visit something that they don't do on a daily basis. Parents always freaked out when I had long hair or the beetle haircut or cut off sleeves or whatever it was. And that's their duty to be freaked out. And when these teenagers get to be parents, your children will touch you. Obviously an issue that will be with us for a long time to come. We'd be interested in your views, so please drop us a line.